So, we can get uh, x minus 1 we can cancel. So, instead of finding expected value of x square uh, directly, we will find expected values of x into x minus 1 first. Then what will be the benefit? So, if you find expected values of x into x minus 1, so this is nothing but expected values of x square minus x, which is nothing but expected values of x square minus expected values of x. So, uh, then you can simplify like expected values of x square, this is the mu 2 dash, this is nothing but expected values of x square, it is nothing but expected values of x into x minus 1 plus expected values of x. Expected values of x we have already computed here, this is lambda. Now, expected values of x and x minus 1, so this is we will compute, uh, then we can find this value. So, let us first point put expected values of x into x minus 1. So, expected values of x into x minus 1. So, let us find out this value first. So, then this is nothing but uh, summation of uh, by definition x is equal to 0 to infinity x into x minus 1 p x x p x x. Now, this is nothing but see, see that. So, this is nothing but summation x is equal to 0 to infinitive x into x minus 1 uh, e to the power of minus lambda lambda to the power x by x factorial. So, now uh, this is uh, x is equal to 0 this is 0. So, this is nothing but x is equal to 0 this is 0 because x 0 even if x is equal to 1 also this is 0. So, then we can write x is equal to 2 to infinitive x into x minus 1 e to the power of minus lambda lambda to the power x by x factorial we will write x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 factorial. So, then this is these are cancelled. So, then we can get some convenience here. So, now uh, e to the power of lambda it is independent of uh, the uh, sum here and also lambda we can write lambda square into x minus 2. So, that is why the lambda square will take common this is this is x is equal to 2 to infinity uh, lambda to the power x minus 2. See that this lambda square inside if you make then it is lambda to the power x that is matching here and this is x minus 2 whole square. Then we will take the similar kind of transformation take r is equal to uh, x minus 2. So, then this sum will be 0 to infinity because the minimum limit of x is 2 and maximum is infinity. So, x goes to infinitive, r goes to infinitive, x is, is equal to 2, then r is equal to 0. So, this is nothing but lambda square e to the power of minus lambda, r is equal to 0 to infinitive, lambda to the power r by r factorial. So, then this, this sum again you know that this is lambda square e to the power of minus lambda, this is nothing but 1 plus lambda plus lambda square by 2 factorial plus lambda cube by 3 factorial. So, this series it is known to us, this series already we discussed, this series is same as this again. So, this is nothing but e to the power of lambda. So, that is why this is nothing but lambda square e to the power of minus lambda e to the power of lambda. So, then this is nothing but the is equal to lambda square. So, this value expected values of x into x minus 1 what finally we got this is nothing but equal to lambda square. So, then uh, this value how we will find because this is lambda square we will write is lambda square and expected values of x already we found this expected value of x is this is nothing but lambda. So, this is nothing but lambda. So, this is nothing but lambda into lambda plus 1. So, mu 2 plus we found lambda square plus lambda. Now, uh, we will find the variance from here. So, variance sigma square x this is variance of x this is nothing but expected values of x minus mu 1 dash whole square this is nothing but mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash whole square. Now, mu 2 dash we found this is lambda square plus lambda minus mu 1 dash is nothing but expected values of x that we already computed lambda. So, this is lambda square. So, then this cancelled this is lambda. So, here you can see that this variance of a Poisson distribution is lambda. Also, we found that mean of the Poisson distribution is lambda. So, mean and variance of this Poisson distribution are same. So, that is the parameter lambda value. So, this is an example of a random variable that the mean and variance are equal. So, those uh, random phenomena the data actually 
having this kind of properties like it is a discrete random variable, it is taking infinite number of values countably infinite uh, and but uh, this mean and variance are equal or then we can uh, then we can the model it using the Poisson distributions. So, then uh, now we will discuss some uh, numerical example of the Poisson distribution, how we can utilize this Poisson distribution. So, we can uh, find some application also, we will discuss some application of the Poisson distribution. Now, we will discuss some applications of the Poisson distribution. In the real life, there are many applications of the Poisson distribution. For example, the number of air cut craft or road accident in any time interval. Usually in insurance companies, they need this information, what is the probability of uh, the number of accidents, the, because they provide some uh, insurance to the people and they need to estimate that how many accidents may happen and based on that, they compute the premium uh, they should ask to pro give uh, to pro from the uh, people, so that they can uh, use this uh, for the for, for their profit because usual people uh, common people they may not know that what is the probability of accident they can be scared about that uh, this accident may happen then they there will be huge loss but insurance company exactly can found the what they can estimate the accident number of accident that may happen from that they can compute that what will be the exactly loss so that they can profit uh, using this technique the number of arrivals in any service facility like at an ATM, bank, railway station, petrol pump. So, whenever it is a some kind of number of uh, some uh, accident, number of uh, service facility like ATM. So, this kind of uh, data actually uh, it can be modeled using Poisson distribution and then bank can know that where this ATM can be established or it can be uh, giving the facility how many ATM it will require or uh, petrol pump the number of patients in a doctor clinic, the number of visitor to a male exhibition, the number of service completed per unit time at a bank or any other service facilities. So, these are whenever you will see in the real life, these, this is like a, some number of uh, accident or number of service facility in a, in a discrete sense. So, then you can, uh, you can use this Boisson distributions. Now, we will discuss some of the numerical example of the Poisson distribution, some of the numerical example. So, let us do some numerical example uh, using the Poisson distribution, how can we can solve. So, a car hire firm has two cars. So, let us do one problem here, a car hire firm, a car hire firm, car hire firm has two cars. has two cars which it fires out day by day, which it which it fires out day by day. The number of demands The number of demands for a car for a car on each day each day is distributed as is distributed as Poisson variate Poisson variate with mean mean 1.5 mean 1.5 calculate the proportion of days calculate the calculate the proportion of days on which on which one neither car is used, neither car is used and, and some demand is refused. Some 
some demand is refused. So, uh, you can see this problem a car hire firm has two cars which it fires out day by day. The number of demands for a car on each day is distributed as Poisson distribution. So, let x be the random variable, let x be the random variable defined for defined as the number of demands demands for a car on each day. So, it is given that uh, x has Poisson we write like this it is a notation x has a Poisson distribution with parameter. So, it is called mean lambda. So, expected value of x is we know that whenever x is a Poisson random variable. So, expected value of x is, is equal to lambda. So, now this lambda mean is it is nothing but given 1.5. So, that is why this is nothing but Poisson 1.5. Calculate the proportion of days on it. So, they now uh, we, here what will be the probability mass function? The probability mass function of x is given by px of x this is probability that x is equal to x e to the power of minus lambda lambda to the power x by x factorial whenever x is 0 1 2 like this 0 otherwise. So, this is general probability mass function we discussed here it is given that lambda is equal to 1.5. So, that is why it is known to us. Now, calculate the proportion and days proportion of days on which neither car is used. So, that means, you have to find the probability that uh, there is no demand. So, that is the probability that this x will be 0. So, the that is this first probability we have to compute nothing but probability that x is equal to 0. So, then you can have this lambda equal to 1.5 will use e to the power of minus lambda. This probability is nothing but lambda is x. So, x is 0 here. So, that is e to the power of minus lambda, lambda is 1.5 e to the power of 1.5. So, this is the probability that uh, proportion of days that means probability that neither of the car used. And the next is that next uh, question is that uh, also you find the probability that the some demand is refused. So, when will uh, the demand will be refused? So, demand will be refused when because there are two cars only. So, demand will be refused if the demand is greater than 2. So, up to 2 then the, there will be some car, but uh, the demand is refused means we have to find the probability that x is greater than 2. So, x is greater than 2 will be nothing but summation of x is equal to uh, greater equal to 3 basically x is greater than 2 means uh, x is equal x is greater than equal to 3. So, now uh, instead of uh, finding because uh, you have to take the infinite sum from 3 to infinity that can be also done, but it is easy to find a complement of that. So, 1 minus probably that x greater than t 2 that means it is x less than equal to 2. So, this is is equal to 1 minus probability of x less than equal to 2 this is nothing but 1 minus uh, summation of uh, x equal to x equal to 0 to 2 uh, p x of x. So, this is nothing but 1 minus summation of x is equal to 0 to 2 p x of x is nothing but e to the power of minus lambda is 1.5, 1.5 whole to the power x by x factorial. So, then this is nothing but 1 minus x is equal to 0 it is minus 1.5 plus it is x is equal to 1 this is e to the power of minus 1.5 into 1.5 plus uh, it x is equal to 2. So, x equal to 0, x equal to 1 and x equal to 2 e to the power of minus 1.5 into x is equal to 2 is uh, uh, 1.5 whole square by 2 factorial. So, then you have to just use the calculator to compute it e to the power of minus 1.5 into 1 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 square 
by in 2 factorial that you have to compute numerically. So, uh, here uh, I am just giving the answer. So, you can find you can compute yourself and then you can see that whether this is uh, close to this value this is nothing but 0 0.19126 uh, 0.19126. So, this is one numerical problem we discussed let us discuss some more example then you will be it will be very comfortable to uh, you, you will get very convenient to um, the use this Poisson distribution. So, let us see some more examples here. So, uh, so suppose a x is a Poisson random variable with this given information uh, if x is a Poisson variate if is a Poisson variate x is a Poisson variate uh, such that such that uh, probability that x is equal to 2 this is nothing but is equal to 9 into probability of x is equal to 4 plus plus 90 into probability that x is equal to 6. Find the lambda, lambda is the Poisson parameter. So, basically find lambda which is nothing but the mean of this random variable. So, how we can find this value? So, we have to uh, see that uh, we have so, so let suppose, suppose if x is so, if x is Poisson random variable with parameter lambda because lambda is the mean of this Poisson variate if x is Poisson lambda Poisson distribution with parameter lambda we know that p x x is nothing but e to the power of minus lambda lambda to the power x by x factorial we have to write the range x is equal to 0 1 2 like this this is equal to 0 otherwise. Now, this is given to us. So, we can find out what is probability of x is equal to 2. So, probability of x is equal to 2. So, this equation actually we just directly put the x is equal to 2 e to the power of minus lambda uh, lambda square by 2 factorial is nothing but 2 which is equal to 9 into e to the power of uh, x to the power 4 x is probability of x is equal to 4. So, we will put. So, this is nothing but probability that x is equal to small x. So, this is x equal to 4 if you write e to the power of minus lambda uh, lambda to the power 4 by 4 factorial. So, then plus 90 into uh, probability that x is equal to 6. So, this is nothing but e to the power of minus lambda lambda to the power 6 by lambda to the power 6 by uh, 6 factorial. So, then uh, those values we have to know. So, now, uh, now one thing that this is positive lambda is a positive value lambda is always 0 to infinity. So, we can just cancel those things. So, then we can see that e to the power of lambda and lambda square we can multiply at these things 2 by e to the power lambda by lambda square then we will get 1 is equal to uh, 9 uh, just uh, what I am doing multiplying 2 by e to the power of minus lambda lambda square because it is a positive number you multiply both side. So, then 9 into it is gone now this is lambda square and the by 2 fa 4 factorial is nothing but 4 into 3 into 2 uh, this is cancelled here ok I just write it. So, this is nothing but 2 because 2 by uh, I multiply to the bar e to the bar minus lambda square plus 90 into e to the bar minus lambda it is again cancelled with this then lambda to the bar 6 it will come lambda to the bar 4 by 6 it will be into 2 2 multiplied by 2 and 6 it is nothing but 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So, then this 2 cancelled. So, just I am simplifying this is cancelled now 3 3 cancelled. So, then uh, what we will get? So, here uh, 2 cancelled now here we can cancel more. So, this is 3 uh, 30 now 6 5 then this 5 also we can cancel. So, then you can see that uh, most of the things cancelled actually. So, uh, then just 4 is there. So, then we, we get this equation. I am just writing this equation suppose we multiply it by 4 both side then this is nothing but lambda to the power 4 we get lambda to the power 4 
lambda to the power 4, we multiply it by 4 both side, lambda to the power 4 plus 3 lambda square, 3 lambda square, this is equal to what we are getting, this is equal to, is equal to 4 we multiplied both side, 4, this is 4. So, which implies lambda to the lambda to the power 4 plus 3 lambda square minus 4 is equal to 0. Suppose if you, because lambda is a positive number, so let us uh, denote a another number suppose alpha, alpha is equal to suppose lambda square. So, this is a positive number. So, then this equation will convert as a quadratic equation only because it is, uh, it is a fourth, uh, fourth um, uh, uh, this is power is 4, I want to, because we will feel uh, better, we have some, uh, some method we know. So, this alpha, if we write lambda square, then it will, it will be alpha square, it will be alpha square plus 3 alpha minus 4 is equal to 0. From here you can get uh, this way, roots of this equation will be, uh, this is minus b plus minus root of r. So, what we got this solution minus b plus minus uh, root of r of b square is 9 minus 4 into a c plus uh, 4, 4, 4, 16. So, 4, 4 into 4. 4 a is 1 c is minus 4 16 by uh, by uh, 2 into a 2. So, this is nothing but minus 3 plus minus this is 9 plus 16 25 this is 5 by 2. So, because it is positive so there are two roots minus 3 minus 5 it is nothing but minus 8 by 2 this is minus 4 my negative number cannot be possible as alpha is greater than 0 alpha is nothing but uh, 5 only positive number 5 plus 5 we will consider. 5 minus 3 by 2, so 2 by 2 this is equal to 1, which implies lambda square is equal to 1, again lambda also positive, so since lambda is equal to 1, since uh, lambda also positive. So, from here we can solve the values of lambda. So, this is another problem, like it is just uh, another problem only. So, uh, this is uh, how to find the lambda. So, let us consider, uh, suppose uh, let us consider some different some other problem also. So, suppose if x and y are independent Poisson variates, let if x and y are independent Poisson variate, Poisson variate such that, such that probability that x is equal to 1, this is equal to probability x is equal to 2, it is given, the independent Poisson variate probability of x equal to and also it is given that probability that y is equal to 2 is equal is nothing but y equal to 3. So, they are independent Poisson variate, but parameters are no, not known, lambda 1 and lambda 2 are two parameters, so these parameters are not known. So, then uh, find the variance, it is told that find the find the variance of x minus 2y. So, then here we have to find the variance of x minus 2y. So, for finding the variance because they are independent, uh, this variance of x minus 2y will be variance of x. So, okay. So, that will uh, we have to know this formula. So, later we will discuss it. Whenever we will discuss the bivariate random variable, so then it will be there is some kind of covariance concept here we will use this later we will uh, use this formula but later we will discuss more details about this formula so first of all first uh, let us find so let uh, x has poisson random variable with parameter lambda 1 and y has also poisson distribution with parameter lambda 2 so now it is given that uh, probability of x equal to 1 is equal to so what will be the probability mass function probability that x is equal to small x is nothing but p x x, this is e to the power of minus lambda 1, uh, lambda 1 to the power x by uh, x factorial, whenever x is 0, 1, 2, so whenever 0, uh, otherwise, otherwise. Now, probability of y is equal to y, this is nothing but p y y, this is e to the power of minus lambda 2 lambda 2 to, 2 to the power y by y factorial whenever y is 0, 1, 2, this is equal to 0, 
otherwise. So, these are the uh, probability mass function for x and y. Now, it is given that it is given that probability that x is equal to 1 is equal is nothing but probability that x equal to 1 is equal to probability of x equal to 2. This is nothing but probability that x is equal to 2. So, now from probability mass function we know that x is equal to 1 if you put e to the power of minus lambda 1 lambda to the power 1 by 1 factorial. This is equal to nothing but probability x equal to 2. So, this is e to the power of minus lambda 1 lambda 1 2 by 2 factorial. Now, we have to solve this equation. So, this is cancelled where this is 2. So, 1 is equal to uh, 1 uh, it lambda 1 square by 2 which implies lambda 1 square is equal to 2 which implies lambda 1 is equal to nothing but root 2. So, now uh, what will be the uh, value for uh, what is the, so we have done some mistake here. So, here probability of x is equal to 1 it is not it is the power of not it is the power of minus lambda 1 lambda 1 to the power 1 by 1 factorial. So, that is why uh, we did not we, it is wrong. So, now we have to solve it again. So, this is nothing but now if you uh, simplify these things. So, now e to the power of minus lambda 1 is positive lambda 1 also positive just we can divide by e to the power minus lambda 1 by lambda 1. So, this is lambda 1 by 2. So, which implies lambda 1 is equal to 2. Now, next relation it is probability of y is equal to 2 is, is nothing but is equal to probability y is equal to 3. So, now so, probability of y is equal to 2, uh, what is the relation it is given? Probability y is equal to 2 is same as is equal to probability of y is equal to 3, which implies now it is uh, y is Poisson distribution with probability parameter lambda 2, this probability mass function we use, this is nothing but uh, e to the power of minus lambda 2, lambda 2 square by 2 factorial 2, 2 factorial e to the power of minus lambda 2, lambda 2 whole cube by sorry by 3 factorial. So, then just we have to come simplify these things. So, because uh, these are all positive number we can divide by e to the power minus lambda 2, uh, lambda 2 square we can divide then this is nothing but 1 by 2 this is equal to uh, lambda 2 by uh, 3 factorial this is 3 into 2. So, this implies lambda 2 is equal to 3 into 2 by 2 this is nothing but 3. So, then we found lambda 2 is equal to now we know that the variance of the Poisson random variable x will be nothing but a same as expected values of x which is nothing but lambda 1 which is 2 and variance of y this is Poisson expected value of y same as expected value of y, this is nothing but lambda 2, this is equal to 3. Now, it is, it is asked that find the uh, find the variance of x minus 2 y. So, x minus 2 y variance, so uh, we will discuss uh, later, let us remember that for any two random variable, so uh, two, two random variable variance of x minus 2 y, this is nothing but uh, variance of x plus because they are independent variance of 2 y. So, there is some other term covariance, but since it is independent it will be since x and y are independent random variable. So, because x and y are independent random variable, so this formula it works actually uh, we will discuss this formula later whenever we will discuss bivariate random variable here we are using the formula, but again we will discuss it. So, this is nothing but variance of x that that things we know that this constant will be outside uh, this uh, by square because variance of a uh, c into x is c square into variance of x this is nothing but 4 into variance of y. So, variance of x is now here nothing but lambda 1 this is 2 plus 4 into a variance of the uh, y uh, this is 3. So, this is nothing but 2 plus uh, 12. So, this is nothing but 14. So, this is the answer. So, if there is any mistake uh, then you please check and then you see that whether this answer is correct or you can check whether uh, there is any difference different answer. 
So, these are some of the example we discussed.